Bullshit like a matador. I'm used to the bullshit, it don't matter, boy. Corporate acquisitions, accumulations of wealth. Alright, making this second appearance in this series, we have another suspect lure from Curtis Jackson. This line comes from the infamous diss track released in 2005 called Piggy Bank. Don't be screaming, get at me, dog. How you running for your life when I'm at your bar? I get the wave in that semi like it's legal. In this song, 50 takes shots at Ja Rule, Fat Joe, Jada Kiss, and many more. But while 50 attacks his rivals, something very strange is said in the middle of the second verse. He don't want it with me, he in DC. I can have a nigga run up on him with his shank. Put just a few pennies out my piggy bank. Yeah, you'll bring the condoms, I'm in room 203. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, brother. I ain't know you and Yayo got down like that. Yeah, yo, bring the condoms. I'm in room 203. Now, some people might say that 50 is telling Yayo to bring condoms to his room so he can smash a girl, which is what the line after this implies. Free bitch look like Kim before the surgery. But I honestly think that's a cover up because the way 50 says this is as though him and Yayo are about to prepare for a midnight rendezvous. Yeah, yo, bring the condoms. I'm in room 203. Them niggas is ignorant. I'm like, bro, bro, like I had several blue balls, eat my flow speed wet like all you girl Charles B. Redman is possibly one of the most unappreciated rappers of all time. His high level of skill within this genre is oftentimes overlooked for reasons unknown. One of his rap perks is being able to freestyle really well, which landed him on a mixtape produced by Funkmaster Flex called 60 Minutes of Funk Volume 2. And during this freestyle session, Redman says something completely out of the ordinary. I got Tic Tacs in my mouth with a big dick. <laughs> Bro, Paul's no homo. You said something gay, so you gotta say no homo, or else you the homo. Like, why the hell are you coming to a freestyle with those items in your mouth? Alright, I can give you a pass on the Tic Tacs, but that other thing you mentioned? I don't know about that one. I got Tic Tacs in my mouth with a big dick. No, in all honesty though, I could probably give Redman the pass because, well, he was freestyling. And he might have just slipped up. But we all know no matter what the situation is, if you say a suspect line, you're gonna end up on this series. I got Tic Tacs in my mouth with a big dick. Faggot. Y'all know me, still the same OG, but I've been low key, hated on by most these niggas with no cheese, no deals and no G's. Now, if you're a fan of hip hop, then you should already know how influential Dr. Dre is. He's the co-founder of the rap group NWA, the owner of one of the biggest rap labels in the world, and he's a successful businessman. But let's not let that distract us from Dr. Dre saying some of the most suspect shit on his infamous diss track, Fucking With Dre Day. Don't even respect your ass, that's why it's time for the doctor to check your ass, nigga. Used to be my homie, used to be my ace. On this diss track, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg send shots to Easy e Tim Dogg, and Luke from the 2 Live crew. And throughout the song, both Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg recite some of the gayest lyrics imaginable. But the most notable lyric is what Dr. Dre states he would like to do to Luke. Made you speak what yeah. you spoke, hey, yo, Dre. What up? Chip this nigga off, love. If it ain't another hoe that I got to fuck with, gap teeth in your mouth so my dick's got to fit. <laughs> Bro, just because Luke got gap teeth doesn't mean you should just go stick your penis in his mouth. Because I'm pretty sure he ain't with that shit. Yo, gay ass motherfucker. And what makes this line even worse is when Snoop Dogg follows up with this. What my nuts on your tonsil. Then they also say this crazy shit. Now understand this, my nigga Drake can't be touched. Luke's bending over, so Luke's getting fucked. Bro, what the hell are these dudes on? I mean, why don't they just come out and say that they're sexually attracted to Luke? Like, what the hell is up with all the subliminals? Luke's bending over, so Luke's getting fucked. What my nuts on your tonsil. Gap teeth in your mouth, so my dick's got to fit. Yo, gay ass motherfucker. Okay, now I know it's kind of awkward that Meek is on this list because of his current situation. I honestly wrote this segment a week before the whole fiasco of him getting sentenced. And I promise to God I didn't put this lyric in here on purpose. But anyway, this lyric comes from a song called I'm Killing, which ironically appears on a mixtape called Flamers. And I think that that may be the perfect name for this mixtape, because this line is some certified flamer shit. That K is spinning nigga wheel, pants they jack. A bandit house with a tape back. Pool stick all in his ass, tell him take that. 
Now I already know that many of you would dismiss this line by saying, that's from the movie In Too Deep. It's crazy cause niggas said the same thing when Biggie said this. When I met you, I admit my first thoughts was a trick. You look so good, huh? I suck on your daddy's dick. Bro, that's not gay. He just quoting a Witcher Pryor joke. Let me tell y'all something. Just because these rappers reference the gay shit they say, doesn't make it less gay. Because that scene in In Too Deep with the pool stick is very fucking fruity. Hey, go, man. Why you what? wildin' out, man? Why I'm wildin' out? You supposed to be my boy, man. I... Gay shit. And with Meek Mill referencing this scene in his raps, makes it even more fruity. Pool stick all in his ass. Tell him take that. Oh, hell no. It's been a long time since I hit you with freestyle, high-tech selection from the vaults of the Heights files. This next line comes from one of the originators of gangster rap. In my opinion, Ice-T is another artist that doesn't get enough credit for inspiring artists such as N.W.A., Tupac, and many more. And in 1993, he would release one of his most classic tracks called 99 Problems. I got a hope from the east, got a hope from the west, got a hold it like a jacket off and rub it in a chest. Like Throughout this song, I see describes the type of women he has, but his description of one of them is very questionable. I got a bitch that's fast, a bitch that's slow, a bitch that's a virgin and a bitch that's a hoe, a bitch that lies, a bitch that's true, a bitch who's a man because that bitch is true. <laughs> Damn, OG. I mean, I knew you was a pimp, but I ain't know you was out here pimping them transsexuals. A bitch is a man because that bitch is true. Like, damn, my nigga, you didn't go back and listen to this shit after you said it? I guess there was no need for him to because he said it with so much conviction as though he's proud to have a boyfriend on the side. A bitch is a man because that bitch is true. You gay. Coming through the alley with the trunk, fell up out. For those of you that don't know, William Calhoun, aka WC, is a forefather of West Coast gangster rap and is very well known for popularizing the dance craze known as Crip Walking. He is also well known for teaming up with Ice Cube and Mac 10 forming the legendary West Coast rap group West Side Connection. During the time they released their debut album Bow Down, they were fueled with Cypress Hill, Common, Q-Tip from A Tribe Called Quest, and many more. And on a song called Cross Them Out and Put a K, WC says something extremely gay in regarding a Tribe Called Quest member Q-Tip. so many questions for this shit. First off, he said he was going to tie Q-Tip up and out of all things to gag his mouth with, he chose a fucking apple. Okay, fruit strike number one. Then he said that he dug him out? Now I'm pretty sure some niggas gonna be in the comments saying, when he say dug his ass out, he talking about shooting him with a gun. No, oh, nigga, fuck all that. Alright, fruit strike number two. And then to top off the gayness, he then said he shoved a cucumber up his ass. Like, why the hell would you do that? Man, what's up with these dudes and shoving items up dudes' asses? First it was a broomstick, then it was a pool stick, now we got a cucumber? Bro, I have no more words for this shit. No, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, 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 hell no. Snitches wanna try, snitches wanna lie, the snitches wonder why, snitches wanna die. Okay, surprisingly this is only DMX's second appearance on this series, because this guy is known for saying a ton of suspect shit in his lyrics. Anyway, this lyric comes from a track called Top Shotter, from the classic hood film Belly. This track also features Sean Paul and Mr. Vegas, as it has a real reggae feel too. But while on this song, DMX says something only niggas in prison can relate to. Bro, what the hell? Like, what is up with all this anal penetration? Like, I never knew that this was a known torture method amongst these rappers. 
Like this dude literally said he will whip your butthole out of place. Bro, let's just move on because there is no way of getting around this shit. Motherfucker, rip your butthole out of place. I bet you're the kind of guy that would fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. You see where this Kanye shit is getting us, right? Hashtag half a fag. Now many of you may know that Lord Jamar is that guy that gets interviewed on DJ Vlad. Well before he was getting interviewed on Vlad, he was a member of the legendary rap group known as Brand Nubian. You we get a hurts to be dumb, dumb and blind, a supreme mind to take you out of your paralysis. Brand Nubian is looked upon by many as being one of the greatest rap groups of all time, as their catalog consists of tons of classic songs, one of them being a track called Punks Jump Up to Get Beat Down which is a hardcore track about whooping niggas at a train station. One day when I was riding on the train, I seen these two kids talking about the Nubian rain had fallen. But during this track, Lord Jamar slips up and says some off-the-wall suspect shit. I might dick in your ass quick fast like my name was Flash. Bro, I thought this song was about beating dudes up, not dicking niggas in the ass. Like, what the hell is this dude thinking? Another thing I find funny about this is when Lord Jamar is on DJ Vlad's platform, he's oftentimes accused of being homophobic. And you know what's crazy? So am I. And I really don't understand why. I mean, if you can't handle jokes, you need to get your sensitive ass off my channel. But anyway, people always call Lord Jamar homophobic. But there's no way that this dude is homophobic. Because just in case you didn't hear it, Listen to this shit again. I might dick in your ass quick fast like my name was Flash. Hashtag half a fag. Now, if you guys have never heard of Pharaoh Munch, I will advise you guys to research this guy ASAP. A lot of you people may know him from the classic hip hop track Simon Says, which is played damn near everywhere. We just in the back sipping yak, y'all. What's up? Girls, rub on your titty. Yeah, I said it, rub on your titty. Okay, this is completely not related to the video, but I'm gonna seriously need you guys to check out all this dude's albums. Especially we are renegades. But back to the subject at hand. Before Pharaoh's solo career, he was a part of a rap group called Organized Confusion, which consists of himself and Prince Poe. Organized Confusion also dropped notable projects, one being called Stress, the Extinction Agenda. And on a song called Breaking On, Pharaoh Marsh recites yet another suspect rap lyric involving a man's rectum. Hey, bro, to be real with y'all, I don't know if I can handle any more of these butt fucking lyrics. I mean, that's literally all this video has been. Luke's bending over, so Luke's getting fucked. Pool stick all in his ass, tell him take that. I thought I'm about to let up, they found his body stashed in the trash bag with the cucumber in his ass. Motherfucker, rip your butthole out of place. I might dick in your ass quick fast like my name was Flash. Better believe I butt fucking seeds from the rear. And what makes this lyric worse from all the others is that he tells us who exactly who he's gonna butt fuck. Better believe I butt fuck MCs from the rear. Hell no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no, hell to the no, to the no, 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 no. Listen. Who's the black sheep? What's the black sheep? Oh. No, not who I am or when I'm coming, so you're slow. Oh. Alright, I feel like it's necessary for me to give you guys a lesson in hip hop before I reveal this extremely gay lyric. It comes from a song from Showbiz and AG, which is a rap duo from the Bronx, New York, affiliated with the rap coalition known as the Diggin' in the Craze Crew, which consisted of legendary rappers such as Lord Finesse, Fat Joe, Bug Wild, and the late great Big L. The song is called Bouncer This, which features Dress from Black Sheep, which is another rap duo from New York affiliated with the Native Tongues, A Tribe Called Quest, Jungle Brothers, and De La Soul. Okay, now that's enough history lesson. Like I said, the lyric comes from a song called Bouncer This off of Showbiz and AG. G's debut album Runaway Slave. And in my opinion, it's the gayest lyric on this list. I just get off, not just that. Yo, I say I do a good and shock the kind of that we be in Hollywood. Don't get jail if we cash lot checks, cause we skittle let dip, 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 dip for effects. Brothers think I'm this but I'm really on the dicks. Look into my album, kid, you see all the flicks. <laughs> Bro, not only did this man say that he was on brother's dicks, he then proceeded to say that there is flicks of him doing this sexual act? Like, did this dude really just hop on a track promoting his X-rated movie? I think that's exactly what he did. 
Yeah, bro. I don't see any other way of interpreting this shit. My man just flat out laid all his personal info dead on the track. Brothers think I diss him, but I'm really on the dicks. Look into my album, kid, you see all the flicks. Dude, are you gay? Dude, it's not a big deal. You like to fuck guys. I'm cool. I got friends that fuck guys in jail. Oh, right, you guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smack that like button. Comment your thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you made it this far in the video, I have a very special announcement for you guys. The next upload on this channel is going to be suspect rap lyric related. I told y'all they were going to be back to back suspect rap lyric videos. But this right here is going to be the last one I'm going to do for a while. Because I don't, I don't just want my channel to be fucking suspect rap lyrics. Like, I like making these videos, but then I don't, I don't want to be known for this shit. So after I drop this next one, there's gonna, it's, it's gonna be a while before I drop another one. Just letting y'all know. So y'all might want to enjoy this shit now because I'm about to get on, I'm about to get on some more realer shit with my videos, bro. Like this shit finna get crazy. So with all that being said, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next installment of this series. Gully Boy signing out.